Hello Aries, this is your mid-October 2018 reading, at least starting mid-October 2018. The energy is coming in. Maybe it will continue from the last reading, or it could be a totally different energy. It will not resonate with all Aries individuals, but this is for Aries, mid-October <clears throat> 2018. I'm starting to get another cold, so my voice kind of is faltering, but I want to get this out there. Mid-October 2018, Aries for the masses. Aries, starting mid-October 2018. The masses. Oops. You may feel like your intuition is off, maybe, for some of you. That's the high priestess in the reverse. Let me get another cards. I'm doing a five card spread. It's easier for the middle of the month. Energies. Let's see what's coming in. Aries. Seven of Swords. This is, uh, I get, I'm getting this a lot. They call it the Stalker card. It doesn't matter how much you shuffle. It's like deceptive, deceptive energies around you that are coming in. And you may already know about this. Some of you may have to guard against uh, thieves, people taking advantage of you. Or just sneaky behavior, whether others coming to you are doing this or you're doing it to them. It could be either way. In the past, someone was a little defensive, wanted to get on top of the situation. And they do. It's the Seven of Wands in the upright. It's someone taking control of a situation that they felt they needed to get on top of before things got out of hand. That's in the past. I got these clarifying cards here. I want to use same type of deck. I want to find out what the Seven of Wands is. It's Valor. Is someone taking up a battle and winning? There's a winner here. Seven of Wands. Why are you there for Aries? Great card. Because they weren't happy with the situation that was offered to them and they decided to take a stand and not let anyone interfere with their happiness. Because someone was trying to interfere with your happiness or you were trying to interfere with someone else's happiness and someone took a stand. Four of Cups in reverse. Not, offer, not taking any negative offers that you were not happy with. Turning down situations that did not serve you. You may come across as kind of abrupt. And someone or some people may feel that you are unapproachable. And that they can't change your mind and they're right. They're not going to be able to change your mind in the past. At least in the past. Now your obstacle, Aries... Four of Cups again. You, by turning down offers, turning all people away, standing your ground, it's a possibility you may miss positive offers coming your way also. Four of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Aries? Because you have fears that you're always left out or messed over with the Five of Pentacles and the Upright. You're always worried. You're, you're, you're not trusting people. Aries does not trust right now. Can I have another card for the Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles as the obstacle? Yeah, because good offers can come your way, but you're so worried that it'll just mess up, that you're not even accepting anything. It's like you don't trust anything. So therefore, you just don't take anything from anybody. You're not taking, accepting any good offers. Because I do see uh, positive offers also coming your way, but you may reject them. And that is, that is the obstacle. Current environment or the near future.
maybe dealing with the Queen of Wands. This could be your energy is in reverse. Could it be a? Uh, it could be another fire sign. Could be another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're in reverse. Hell have no fury like the Queen of Wands in reverse. They're not someone you want to mess with when they are in a bad mood. Queen of Wands in reverse. Why are you there for Aries in the near future? What is going on with Aries? Four of Pentacles in reverse. Now holding back, I think Aries is going to lose their temper possibly. Because they think something... They had hopes for something, or they think it's deceived hope, and they're going to let let loose. You're going to let loose on someone or something or the situation around you. Your hope, or you could be that your hope is elsewhere with the star card, because it's in the upright, it's the Y card. So your hope could be elsewhere, what you're looking towards or elsewhere. And maybe, and I'm feeling this just for a few of you, that people are trying to discourage you in the past with offers that didn't come in that were good. But you may, but remember, the, oppos, the opposition is that not everything is bad. But you are so turned around and so upset, you're going to let loose on something or somebody. People are going to think you you lost it. Let me see. Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the Star card. Why are you there? As in the near future, present environment. Yeah, because you're wanting to come out of cruelty. You, I think this was... I don't know too many Aries that hold back on stuff. They usually do tell you what they're feeling. But you're one of, you, you just can't hold back at all. Because you were really feeling the cruelty and the anguish in a certain situation. And you're going to let those around you know it. What is coming towards you? <laughs> Walking away. Eight of Cups. Why are you there? Why are you there? Eight of Cups. Coming towards outside environment. Coming towards Aries. I'm trying to see what that is. Because it could be someone walking away or someone walking towards you, walking away from something else. But I don't know. Eight of Cups. Why are you there for Aries as the outside environment? This has the hair font. This has to do with contracts, marriage, the status quo, what is habit, in society, what is conformed in society, what everybody does, what is considered accomplishment. It's in the upright. Let me find out more. Hierophant with the Eight of Cups. Just tell me the same thing, but this has to do with someone doesn't want to battle. They may walk away from a marriage contract, certain situation. Either they're walking away or they're walking towards you. For some of you, someone may very well walk away from you because they don't want to fight. Could very well be a marriage or some type of contract. For some of you, somebody may be walking away from a different situation and walking towards you from a bad situation, a marriage possibly, because they're tired of fighting. It'll be different for everybody. But there is some walking away from somebody in the outside environment in a certain situation. Like I said, walking towards you or away from you. The ending energy is the Knight of Wands in reverse. This person does not want commitment. They do not want to be tied down. They are short-tempered, the Knight of Wands. Could be a fire energy or someone taking on that energy. Could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Could be you. Or you're dealing with another Aries. But let's find out why the Knight of Wands is in reverse. No commitment. Knight of Wands, why are you there? Because you're looking for something else to come in. Something else you want. Better things. Could have to do with the Princess, princess of Swords. This could be our air energy or someone taking on that energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. 
mostly it also could be a message of some sort coming very quickly. Maybe you're waiting for something to come quickly towards you. This is sort of like a page, a message, something almost abrupt, but you want it fast. You're impatient, Aries. You're, you're, you're waiting for your fortune. You're looking for better things to come in. You really are. You're waiting for something better to come in, your fortune. You're getting impatient. So to sum it up, your energy, you're, you're feeling a little defensive. You feel like you're not getting your happy happily ever after, and you're not accepting any offers in the past. You're kind of abrupt and pushing people away, possibly. Your obstacle, same thing. You may miss an opportunity because in the past, why is because nothing ever panned out. It never worked out. I didn't like what was offered me, and I always was messed over when I did. But the, the fact is that not every offer is a terrible offer, but you may feel it is because you're just not feeling that you could accept anything from anyone because you've been, like I said, screwed over pretty much. Now, in the near future, I call it the present and near future because we're going into <clears throat> mid-October here. The Queen of Wands has turned around. And like I said, hell have no fury like the Queen of Wands. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. And it could very well be your energy. You're not going to hold back. You're going to let loose because you have hopes elsewhere. And you're just going to let people know what you're wanting in life and what you're hoping for life because you're you're not going to hold it in. You don't. You feel like... It would tear you apart if you held it in. The outside environment, what this could cause, and like I said, but for a lot of you, I, I can't say a lot, for part of you out there, um, this is the Eight of Cups, someone walking away. Maybe you got too um, aggressive with your the way you were saying it because with Aries, they can really um, put out there what they want and and. It doesn't matter about feelings sometimes. Not all Aries, but some of you, you know, do do that. And it could have to do with your marriage partner not wanting to fight. I do not see this as a divorce because the Hierophant is not in reverse. I see someone just not wanting to battle or saying, I think we should both step away from each other before we really say things that could really hurt. But this person, I think, may be hurt, may be actually hurting. Okay, so if you don't want this person hurt, you may want to watch your words. For a few of you, this could be somebody coming towards you that was also in battlement at one time. They're not wanting to fight, and they may be walking towards you crying, and it may be over a marriage. But the end result is that you yourself are not wanting commitment. I do feel that as your energy, and you're kind of backwards. You're going to do what you want, and it may not settle well with a lot of people. Because you're looking for better things coming in, your fortune. And you're wanting messages to come in. You also could be dealing, like I said, with the air sign. Or you could be also dealing with other fire signs. Or someone, people would take it on that energy. This is a fast energy. I think it will pan out by the um, end of October. So if you're short-tempered or you're just saying your peace and people may perceive it the wrong way, because you are Aries, you're going to do what you're going to want to do. That they may take it wrong and their feelings may get hurt. So going for that good fortune, going for the things you want, other people around you may get hurt. But I do still see you going that way. And you got the emperor in reverse. People may feel that you're out of control. They may feel like you're not making the right judgments. And that's where the embattlement is going to happen between you and other people. You're going to want to do what you're going to want to do. Hell or high water. And it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, even though they will be hurt. So this is what it is with Aries. They just don't want commitment right now. They're going for their future fortunes and um, blessings that they want coming to them, no matter what anybody else has to say. And that is the Aries way a lot of times. But that is your reading. I will be back before November, and I will give you another reading in the future, like I said. But it will be before November, for the November readings. I'll talk to you later, Aries. Bye.